Okay, what is up guys? I bought a microphone. See it right there? I know, wild. Uh, hopefully the audio won't be trash now and my videos will be slightly more watchable. Camera quality will still be iPhone, but that is all right. Um, I am gonna go to the gym because I'm bored and it seems fun. It is nighttime night-ish. Um, I already did all my, my responsible stuff for the day, so now I get to go rock climb. I'm going to go to the gym, and um, I'm going to go do some climbing. The goal of today is to do some um, what I call like flow climbing, where um, you, you kind of, it's kind of like climbing fast to where you're using the, the elasti e my goodness, elasticity of your muscles. Um, I know I sound like a bro science guy right now, but you use basically the elastic energy stored in your muscles to um, be stronger at rock climbing, basically. And I'll show you what that looks like in more depth. I know it sounds super weird right now, but anyway, let's go. All right, but first, I have a few things to do. I'm going to go to Home Depot and grab a piece of wood, and I'm going to clean out my mess of a car because there's a bunch of stuff that is all important, but it's unorganized. So, yeah. I've got my pre-workout right there. I've got my tripod, a backpack full of random stuff, a big old leather belt, a fuzzy sweater, um, some work clothes, some random pencils that I was using to draw earlier, and um, I don't know, terrible garage lighting. But I'm gonna stop lollygagging. I'm gonna get going. All right, I'm gonna go grab some wood real quick. Pre-workout taken. Um, that's about it. Wood. Should I do it? No. Oops. Gonna go grab a second one. They let me take it for free because I was throwing it. Uh, so I was throwing it around anyway. So, and uh, it didn't have a price tag on it. So, free wood. Got the piece of wood in the car. It is freezing cold out here. There's going to be a blizzard tomorrow, so uh, it is quite cold. But I want to do some muscle ups because why not? Because the one of the nice things about Home Depot is that there are these big old bars, as you can see. They're really, really wide around. Okay, so this is what I call flow climbing. Um, I don't know what the actual term is. It's like a semi-dynamic kind of climbing where you're not going super slow and concise and controlled. Rather, you're almost flailing a little bit. You don't um, try to have complete control over each hold. You just sort of grab it and go. And that what that allows for is to use the, elast the elasticity gained from the previous move for the following move so that you don't need to be as strong as you would have had to have been to complete the same climb. So this is a V7 right here. It's a very slippery V7, so it's a pretty hard climb to use what I call like the flow method on, but it's um, pretty fun. I keep I kept falling off of it, and I didn't get it in this session. Um, I have gotten it now, but I always got stuck there. And the answer was pretty much just going back to being a little more stable near the top where it's more balancey. But the bottom benefited greatly from the quote-unquote flow climbing. This is a prime example of where flow climbing has its pros and cons. So you're going to see here that I'm trying to go for this hold. I try to get the knee bar really fast, and I slip off. And basically, the annoying part is that you're not as controlled, so it can be harder to climb concisely. Um, in this time around, I got this V8. Not because I was strong enough to actually get the V8, but rather because I climbed without a call flow, right? It's, um, I don't have enough strength to hold onto that pinch and be able to bump up it in such a slow and controlled manner. So I used that foot to sort of jump up into that undercling just a bit so that I was able to get this climb. If I hadn't used the flow method here, I wouldn't have been able to get that climb. And just for those of you naysayers, here's that proof that it was actually a V8. Now, this is the most extreme example and version of flow um 
It's just pure canvassing. You're using the stretch and the muscle um, from the previous move to help with the next move. So I don't need to be necessarily extremely strong to do these moves. I just use the stretch that I already get out of the, um, from the previous move to the following move. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but you can see it pretty clearly. I'm not, you know, doing one arm pull-ups and such. Alrighty guys, I had a good time. I hope you guys had a fun time watching probably this pretty short video would be my best guess because I forgot my microphone, um, my little doodad um, when I actually went to the gym. So it's probably just going to be like voiceover with just me in silence or with music in the background, but that's all right. Um, hope you guys enjoyed and that's about it.